Why gamers are switching to a higher DPI and why you should too. Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna break down why pro gamers are making the switch to higher DPI or CPI settings and why it might be something you should consider too. I would really appreciate it if you could like the video or even subscribe and I hope these tips help you as much as they did for me and let's get right into it. So, in the past, most pro gamers stuck with either 400 DPI or 800 DPI but lately, there's been a trend towards using 1600 DPI and even 3200 DPI. To understand why, let's dive into what DPI actually means. DPI stands for dots per inch. Essentially, it's about how many dots your mouse reports to your computer when you move it 1 inch. So let's say you're at 400 DPI. If you move your mouse 1 inch, it's gonna report 400 dots to your computer. Now, the game takes those dots, multiplies them by your sensitivity settings, and converts them into pixels to determine how far you rotate or move in-game. Now, imagine you double your DPI to 800 but halve your in-game sensitivity. Essentially, you end up with the same centimeters per 360 rotation. But here's the kicker. You now have twice as many dots packed into that one inch of mouse movement. This means your mouse reports its movements more accurately. For example, if you're using low DPI and low sensitivity, your crosshair might end up a few pixels away from where you intended it to be. And when you're trying to hit those tiny targets, every pixel counts. So, by bumping up the DPI, pros are finding they can land their shots more accurately, especially on those pesky smaller targets. But hey, that's just one of the reasons why so many of them are making the switch. Another interesting finding is that higher DPI settings seem to reduce input delay by a few milliseconds. Like, going from 400 DPI to 1600 DPI could shave off about 5 milliseconds of input lag. Essentially, input lag is like a delay in your reaction time because your computer registers your actions a bit slower. While it might not sound like much, it's kind of like the difference between using a 60Hz monitor and a 144Hz monitor. It can make a noticeable impact. However, as you increase your DPI even more, the advantage in reducing latency becomes less significant. So, once you hit 3200 DPI, you don't really gain much by going higher. Now, you might be wondering what CPI is. It stands for counts per inch, and it's pretty much the same thing as DPI, just a different term. This whole higher DPI thing is relatively new because there was a time when lower DPI settings were almost sensors could handle reliably. But now, with advances in technology, higher DPIs are totally viable, they're just not as popular as they should be. Oh, and here's a neat trick. When you switch your DPI or CPI, just remember that whatever you multiply your DPI by, you should divide your in-game sensitivity by that same number. It keeps everything balanced while still giving you those benefits I mentioned earlier. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe for more aim tips and tricks.